Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech here with number 100. Two things I'm going to be doing today. Number one, I'm going to go over a heavily requested topic, the top 10 EDH artifacts. And number two, at the end of this video, there is a contest. This is the first contest that I've ever run. It's going to be really easy to enter. I'm super excited, so let's jump in here. I uh, just wanted to look back at the last 100 videos a little bit. Technically, I'm up to about 140 videos at this point, but 100 of them have had decent production value put into them, and the production hopefully is getting better. Uh, the number one most watched video was the best and worst commanders. Uh, I was really surprised by this. This is one of the first videos where I really kind of took the gloves off and said what I really think. It has the most likes, the most subscribes, and the most unsubscribes. I've definitely offended a few people with this video, but that's okay, and it really tells me I need to take the gloves off and tell you guys what I really think more often. Second thing is the eternal deck techs have been really popular. We've got them both in Legacy and in Modern, and long term they're gaining some hits, so I'll be creating more Eternal deck techs. Also, people like some of the new animation stuff that's been coming up, and I'm going to be working on more animation in future videos. Thank you guys all for hanging around for the first hundred videos, and I hope the next hundred live up to or exceed those expectations. As a reminder, my criteria for lists is that the card should be under $20, and I might have broken those rules a little bit from time to time, but I try to keep them as affordable for the average player, and they must also be fun. So none of the heavy combo bait type items in there. They have to really involve that interactive, fun social environment. If we want to play spike-related stuff, that's fine, uh, but at least give the rest of the table a chance to interact, otherwise move over to Legacy. My honorable mentions here, I've got one that really warms my heart but doesn't fit that criteria, which is Smokestacks. It's a really mean card. If you're going to play competitively, go for it, but it didn't hit the list. Mind's Eye has to be the most suggested from other people in the community. It is not my favorite because the cost is a little bit high, but if you want to draw a lot of cards in an off-color, in something that doesn't have card draw like blue, I definitely recommend it. And I also really recommend checking out the new god weapons. I have been using these in my EDH decks recently and even played some EDH, which was god EDH. It had the god as the commander and the god weapon as another item in the command zone. And I have just loved these guys. Bow of Nylea has to be the MVP recently in my green deck. Number 10 spot here, I've got Steel Hellkite. This guy is amazing. More often than not, he saves me in games. I've used it to kill plant tokens. I've used it to kill large creatures. This is one of the creatures also that begs for somebody to play a Swift Foot Boots. I'm not usually a fan of those type of equipment, but the ability to get him hasted is just incredible. Also, throughout this video, I'm going to be featuring some altars from Blackwing Studio, and I would like to incorporate more altars into future videos. Uh, Blackwing has done some really cool art altars. Definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, Journeyer's Kite is another one that I've got on here that probably isn't going to make other people's lists. Hitting your land drop every turn in EDH is extremely important, and it's even better when you can reshuffle, take a look at what's on top of your deck, and this card has a lot of utility. I definitely recommend checking it out. You don't feel like you necessarily won a game because of it, but it often provides that extra card advantage and that extra mana long term. It's well worth playing. Number eight spot here, I've got Birthing Pod. I'm not usually a fan of tutors, but this tutor allows you to do some really cool things, create a chain. It can be interrupted. It's a pretty balanced card when it comes to EDH. Yes, it, it could be used as a combo item, but it doesn't have to be. And it allows you to build some really interesting fun decks. In the number seven spot here, I've got Mimic Bat. This is a wonderful card. It's very well balanced. I've seen it used really effectively in decks, but I've also seen it used really effectively to take other people's creatures, prevent them from doing something cool with the graveyard. I love this card. Definitely check it out. Now, this list wouldn't be complete without some type of a board wipe. Uh, Neverdull's Disc is my personal favorite, although from a functional perspective, Oblivion Stone is definitely the stronger card for a recent card that has come out. 
a lot of colors don't have access to a board wipe and there's just times when you need to reset the board. The number five spot here, I've got your hoser cards. These can be unfun, although they're pretty easy to deal with if you've got a little bit of artifact removal. Uh, Torpor Orb I've definitely seen shut down entire decks and is the reason I now play uh, and Grip directly in my main deck green. Uh, no Rod, I just love for stopping artifacts generally. It shuts down almost everything else on this list. And the number four spot here, I've got Sensei's Divining Top. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I've got a whole video on Sensei's Divining Top. There are so many good combinations. Learn to play the top quickly, and it will be your friend. The number three spot here, I've got Phyrexian Metamorph. It really is anything else on this list. I have never once had Phyrexian Metamorph in my hand in an EDH game and not been happy to have him. Somebody's got something cool on the table that you want to copy. One of my favorite things to copy, though, is Batter Skull, because you can then return him to your hand and copy something else better later. Number two spot here, I've got Sword of Whatever and Whatever. The swords are amazing in EDH. They help you deal with board wipes. They have incredible functionality. Virtually every one of these is great. There's some really good tutor effects in Godo and Stoneforge Mystic to help you get the swords. I also recommend checking out Manriki and Agenta Armor if you're having trouble with opposing swords. And I know a few of these crest over the $20 limit, although you can often find some really good deals on them. Even Sword of Body and Mind and War and Peace are extremely useful. War and Peace has saved me because of the life gain more times than one, and Body of Mind I've used as an alternative win condition in milling people out who have incredibly large amounts of life. Definitely try to pick these up, add them in. I don't think we're going to see these continually reprinted or anything as powerful as them in upcoming sets. And number one, Artifacts are just the best way to ramp outside of green. Soul Ring is as powerful, if not more powerful, than Moxes or a Black Lotus. Mana Vault is pretty incredible and overlooked because EDH players don't like to take damage. Uh, Chromatic Lantern is one of the newer cards that I definitely recommend checking out. Although from a functional perspective, Coalition Relic is even faster than Chromatic Lantern. And Dark Steel Ingot I often include as the only artifact in a deck. If you want to play larger casting cost items, you really need to add some ramp to your deck, and artifacts do that wonderfully. Now on to the contest. I'm giving away $100 in EDH cards to one subscriber. There are two things that you have to do. Number one, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Number two, you have to put a comment on this video which lists your favorite commander and what $100 worth of EDH cards you would like from past EDH top 10 lists that I have done. The links to those lists should be appearing over here on the screen. Uh, go through any of those past videos, find the cards that you really want to add to your deck. After a week, I will randomly choose one person who is subscribed and correctly commented, and I will take that list and either pull those cards out of my own collection or procure them and send them off to that person. But take a look at those EDH videos, Find some cards that you would like to add to your EDH deck, post them in the comments, and a week from now I will close the comment thread down, and then on the following Saturday I'll do the final drawing for who has won. Thank you so much. Thanks, this has been Brian Ray with Mythic MTG Tech, doing video number 100. I also would like to remind people that sponsorship options are available. If you're interested in sponsoring the channel, please get a hold of me. Or if individuals would like to contribute, please check out our Patreon page. Can't wait to see what the next year brings.